Dee Dee, you just look so much happier now that you're in this big exhibit. There's waterfalls in the background, dandelions and lilacs growing all around you, and I am so happy that we are taking better care of our elephants. But hello everyone, and welcome back, and we need to add in a little bit more habitat happiness for these two. But welcome back to Zoo Tycoon, the ultimate collection, where we are rapidly trying to wrap up one of the challenges that we've currently got. Tumblr, do I have any of the others? I do not. Let's go ahead and start researching this one. But we are trying to wrap up one of the challenges that we are doing before opening our very own zoo. And I have been dramatically distracted trying to upgrade all of the exhibits for the elephants because I really feel very strongly that they should be in very, very big exhibits. Uh, ooh, let's go down this cleaning station. Nice. Let's go ahead and add in another enrichment station. And I just unlocked that activity center. Nice. All right, and hopefully that will tide my elephants over for a little bit, but let's come over to this empty small forest exhibit and find a small forest animal to add in within the next 10 minutes because I am about to run out of room and I need to adopt five animals of five different species. So let's hurry and do this. We are going to be adopting so many animals all of a sudden. Uh, let's see, small animals, small exhibit, small forest exhibit. So let's see who would actually go into the tropical forest exhibit hmm or the temperate forest exhibit i should say a new bear who would go into oh, a sloth bear that would be really cool let's go ahead and adopt uh, a sloth bear named doug perky aaron skittles Oh my gosh, Skittles, you're very expensive because you're like a level 12. I wonder how animals level up. Let's get Doug because Doug seems pretty cool. And this is the sloth bear, a species of bear related to brown bears that's native to the Indian subcontinent. And he actually likes having at least two of him in there. So let's also adopt Turkey. Holy days! We have just unlocked the Costa Rican cougar, the Peruvian jaguar, the polar bear, the black-headed monitor, the mossy eye lion, the large tundra, the boulder plunge slide, and the souvenir shop. Oh my gosh. Okay. We've got a lot we need to do. Uh, I do want to adopt those two. We do want to make it so that they have food resources. Their exhibit items are not going to work. I Well, actually, I guess they could eat some vegetables now that I'm thinking about it, uh, but they actually need to have some meat as well. So let's put down a meat feeding station for them. And then uh, they should be okay. No, they probably actually the exhibit items for enrichment. Uh Oh, okay. We can't edit it. <gasps> look at him come in. Wow. Look at you two. Welcome, Sloth Bear! Jeez, you're beautiful! I actually think, if I remember correctly, these are one of the most dangerous species of bear because they are native to the Indian subcontinent and that is one of the most populous places in the entire planet. And they uh, are quite aggressive. So the combination of having so many people and pretty aggressive sloth bears uh, ends up making it so that these are the type of bear that actually result in the most interactions with humans every year. Oh, look at them. They're so beautiful. All right, let's hurry. I really need to zip along and adopt a few more animals. Uh, okay, whoops. Let's see. So we need to get two more species of animals really quickly. So let's zip over here. We just finished doing a bunch of research so that we can adopt some llamas, which is pretty exciting. I personally have had a hard time with llamas in the past, but I'm sure that Kevin here won't steer me wrong. There we go. So let's adopt Kevin and Pearl. And let's try Joan and little baby Poppy. Oh, that was very expensive to get that many. But they like to be in a size of at least four of them. And we want to give them some food. So a grass and leaves feeding station. I hate to move so quickly, but we're about to have to like end this challenge. So I do need to kind of zip along. All right, and let's go ahead. What do alpaca like? <laughs> That's a good question. Uh, or llamas. Llamas like shelters a little bit. Oh, apparently llamas really love tabletops. There you go, guys. Whoa! We have the Komodo dragon, 
the brown-throated tree sloth, the screaming hairy armadillo, the southern tarmanda. Oh my gosh, hexagon plaza. Whoa, look at all of these things. Okay, this is why we're going to have our own zoo next time because this is so cool, but we don't ever get to stay with these things. So we're gonna go ahead and get our own zoo for sure. And let's go ahead and put down maybe a small alpine biome. Maybe over by, like, maybe, like, tucked right in here. That seems like a good location for it. And we'll start connecting it to other things. There we go. One more connection. Oh, this is so pretty. It just gives me so many ideas for zoo crafting, too. And then let's go ahead and add in an animal. So, small alpine animal. Hmm. Alpine, alpine, alpine. And I hate to stick anybody in such a small exhibit, but you gotta just deal with what you got for a little while. All right, well, the alpacas would be okay in the alpine, but they really like to be in bigger groups. I'm not sticking an elephant in a small alpine exhibit. It's not happening. Who else can go in there? Andean plateau would be some of the lions. The llamas again, but we need something new. Uh, let's see. A tiger, but we already have tigers. All right, alpacas it is. <laughs> we are going to grab Aaron, the Sunni alpaca, and Antonio. And hopefully that'll work. Now we have an excellent selection. What do we need to do in the last six minutes? If you build it, will they come? Uh, let's see. Potential investors want to see that you can attract guests to the zoo. Keep the zoo's guest rating above 7,500 at all times. And fill out your park and prove the zoo is popular with masses by raving the, raising the fame level to 16. We're almost there! Okay, guys! Let's get some exhibit items in for these little ones. Oh my gosh. This is like a little bit too rushed. This is, this is like really, really fast. But, let's see. Would a feeding interaction be good for alpacas? Apparently you can do that. What about a sensory? No. Okay, we'll do a little feeding station because apparently that's good for alpacas. And we'll build alpaca, alpaca. Rope toys apparently are okay for alpacas. Ooh, but they really like shelters. So we'll give them a little straw shelter. There we go. And I wish I could add more of them, but I don't think you can add any more animals. Adopt new? Oh, can I add a new animal in here? Yes! Uh, let's get Kaya. She's a level 7. Maybe she'll help. Oh, the exhibit's full. See, that's what I thought. Alright, so... Well, it looks like we have 9,200 on the guest rating. But I might be reading that incorrectly. Um, is there, like, a way to see... Guess who's new at the zoo? Kaya the Surrey Alpaca, that's who, making her debut over at Alpine Small Number One. Okay, memo to self, name the exhibit so they're not so odd for my community manager. She is excited to be here and hoping you'll drop by to welcome her to her new home. That woman really knows her job, I suppose. Uh, are we gonna fail this challenge? No, come on! Uh, let's see, keep the zoo's guest rating above... Oh, at all times. I wonder if you just have to keep it that high the whole time? So I think we just have to get to level 16 and then maintain it for five more minutes and we will be fine. So, what about a mini exhibit? Can we go ahead and, like, put in some mini exhibits? Whew, it would take some time to do some research. Hmm. Maybe, like... Arid rock, bush grove. Let's do a uh, tropical pool research. How long would that take? Only a minute. All right, we're pushing it. We're pushing it. What do we not have something of? Grassland? We have one small grassland. Outback? We don't have any outback animals. We're on it. It'll probably fit right in here, I'm sure. Boom. There, we did it! We have unlocked the Victorian koala, the peregrine falcon, the Galapagos giant tortoise. Holy cow, there's so many cool animals that we can add in. Yes! We did it, you guys! The scenario is complete, and we have unlocked the gold flamingo statue. And oh my gosh, does it ever look better than I thought it would be. We've also unlocked the lucky expansion scenario and we have the Scandinavian freeform zoo location. Oh my gosh. We did it. 
which is really cool. I'm very happy that we have unlocked yet another scenario and that we have managed to get even more amazing rewards because those rewards are really fun to play with. Uh, I will admit they are definitely very, um, very good and encourage me. <laughs> encouraging me to dive in and try things around because I want the awards like the gold bear fountain on the origins of species scenario and then you get to unlock more scenarios which I think is pretty fun like where are we we're over at the easy 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 photosensitive which we did the Indian one would give the gold hippo fountain the landscape labyrinth but I really I want to go ahead I want my own zoo now I am ready Give me my zoo. Uh, I don't really want a sandbox zoo. Campaign mode. Campaign mode is where real zookeepers prove themselves. Play through the- no, no, no. I want challenge mode. This is my zoo. Limited funds. Your goal is to build a zoo and complete the zoo collection for each location while overcoming the various challenges of management. Your progress in the challenge is saved automatically. Hmm. I think this is what I want. I think- hey, go back. Go back. Wait, is that, is that what I want? Yeah, campaign mode is the scenarios. Challenge mode, I wanna do my own zoo. That's what I'm, I'm looking for. Okay. Yeah, this is what we want. So you wanna complete the zoo collection and then you have like a various, uh, it looks like you have various star species. That's interesting. So what's the zoo collection? Whoa, collect all the specific animals of this zoo. That's so cool. So you have like a goal to collect a certain type of animal. Uh, we could also go up to the Rocky Mountains and Tasmanian Devils available in the Hawaii Beach Zoo. What on earth? How do you get the animals from the other zoos? What, what, what? Alpine Zoo. I kind of wanted to make an Alpine Zoo. I wanted to make like a snowy zoo. I was going to just let them like get out of my way. Let me pick where I want to go. The nine-banded armadillo is the star species in Alaska. Are you people in Alaska really in love with armadillos for some reason? Because that's kind of adorable. But this would be our Alaskan Animal Sanctuary, which I think would be appropriate for the month of winter. This ruggedly beautiful location is not to be underestimated. You will have your work cut out building the zoo, your zoo at this location. Luckily, the state government has given you 25,000 zoo dollars to help you build a top class animal sanctuary. That sounds like where I want to be. So let's go ahead and do this. We're going to start our very first zoo, you guys, which means that we will finally have a chance to have a location to display all of those. Absolutely. Look at this. A zoo of our own! This is so exciting! Guests are complaining about the low variety of animals in your zoo. Perhaps you could adopt a new species to make your guests happy. You bet I can! Look at this! This is all of our land! This is amazing! We have like this tiny little chunk right here. And then we have all of this. And apparently the big challenge that you want to do here is to actually complete the zoo collection by adopting 46 species. Interesting. You can see the species you need to adopt in the zoo menu. Hmm, we'll, we'll just see how that works out. But we want to adopt 46 species altogether. And I wanted to start with this kind of zoo so that we could build up a big, beautiful winter themed zoo. So that we could come in and we could add in so many different winter animals. We could add in a lot of snowy biomes. I really thought that would be a lot of fun. But it looks like, of course, we must start with some humbler beginnings. Uh, though we do get an Andean plateau, which makes me very happy to see. But it does look like we can't just like dive into the more complicated things right away, which is fine. Uh, and it does look like we can't even research. <laughs> so we, we get a tiny little Andean plateau, which is adorable. And I think I'm about to literally start my zoo with a teeny tiny pack of alpaca, which sounds adorable. All right, there we go. Let's see what our guests think about our brand new llama. It would be a llama, wouldn't it? Or maybe a bear. Let's rescue, let's rescue a cinnamon bear. The cinnamon bear is a subspecies of American black bear and is found across the United States. Minimum social group two animals, which is funny because actually they like to be on their own, but that's okay. So it's okay here. So let's actually get Jesse and Chinzy 
and we'll say that Jinji is her son and she was injured by a car and needed somewhere to go. So there we go. We now, I feel so ready for this after all of the practice that we have been doing. I am totally on top of this. Uh, okay, so the bear should enjoy the fish feeding station. And then we'll go ahead and add an enrichment. What do we have in terms of enrichment so far? Do we have a good scratching post for her? The crazy carving scratching post should help her out. And then if we were gonna add anything else, Oh, bears apparently love slides. There we go. All right, so hopefully she'll enjoy that. Let's come down and see. But we have our cinnamon bear. Look at her, I love it. I love the idea that we have a cinnamon bear and oh, her bear cub. <laughs> Did you see him just like skitter on his little rump? That was so cute. Oh my gosh, all right. We're doing it guys. We are finally, finally making uh, apparently a little bit of progress, but I need to add a cleaning station. Whoops. Well, we are finally making it so that we can run our own animal zoo, which means we might be able to start working on some breeding efforts and we might start working on, oh my gosh, look at her. <laughs> on finally being able to release some animals to the wild and tackle some of the other challenges and fun things that we can do. So, this is a good beginning. Hopefully, I will have plenty of locations to show off my uh, my wonderful golden giraffe statue. We're going to have one on every corner. And if you guys would like to join our team of zookeepers and our hundreds and hundreds of zookeeping adventures, do please consider subscribing. And if you could, leave a like to toss a fish to our wonderful new mama bear and her cub. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.